Hello everybody, let's look at how you can use Traffic Parrot FedEx Sandbox environments with ready-made FedEx API mocks. So customers come to us because they have this problem with the FedEx Sandbox API. The issues they see is that it's intermittently unavailable, there's limited support test data issues or inadequate performance. So what they observe is intermittent build failures, automating testing issues, schedule disruptions, unable to test some happy path or set path scenarios and problems with performance testing. So what they do instead of using the FedEx Sandbox API, they use traffic powered FedEx Sandbox API which include the API mocks and what they get for that is 24-7, 365 availability, priority support, extensive test data and performance testing readiness. Uh, the downside here is it's not a real FedEx API but a mock. But what they get for that in exchange is repeatable bits, easier to and faster to automate tests continuous testing, uh, being able to test a lot of happy path and error scenarios and continuous uh, performance testing. It's easy to get started with Traffic Parrot sandbox environments. All you need to do is locate where the URL to the real environment is and replace it with Traffic Parrot URL. And that typically takes 10 to 40 minutes in our experience. So let's have a look at the sample application and how that looks like. So I've got a sample application that uh, I can use to log into my FedEx API and then do some tracking. Okay, so I'm logging in right now to the FedEx sandbox. And what I'll do right now is I can do some tracking. So I'll track this number and see what happens. So there we go. We got a response from the FedEx sandbox NPI and it says it's initiated. Okay, so now let's have a look at those diagrams again. So this was us testing our application or our microservice connecting to the FedEx Sandbox API. So we'll direct the traffic right now. Instead of the FedEx Sandbox API, we'll use the fe traffic part of FedEx Sandbox, which includes the API mocks. So the way we do that is we go to login again. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, what we put as the API key or um, the secret key. Uh, what matters is the URL. So this URL I got from uh, my email that I got when I registered for the Traffic Pirate trial with the Traffic Pirate FedEx Sandbox. So this is my store, Joe Store Limited, uh, FedEx Sandbox Traffic port 8081. So um, I'm logged in to the traffic pilot environment right now and I can test a number and I get a response. Okay, so it was this easy to switch from using the FedEx Sandbox to traffic pilot FedEx Sandbox. So what we get on top of the availability, the priority support, the performance testing readiness, we also get the uh, extensive test data. And let's have a look at that. So we're going to go to uh, our services page where we've got the sandbox environment. Scroll down to FedEx and go to the FedEx sandbox documentation. And we're going to look at the track API documentation. And this has got some test data listed here for us. So instead of using this first um, tracking number, what I'll do is use this one and export a clearance delay. There we go. We got a clearance delay. We also can um, look at some error messages. Let's say we want to test a revoke. And there's a revoke. Okay. So again, uh, we were able uh, to access this extensive test data and that gives us, uh, along with the priority support, availability and performance testing readiness, the repeatable builds. Uh, easier, faster to automate tests, continuous testing, testing a lot of happy path and error cases and performance readiness. What is the return on investment? Why would you use Traffic Pilot FedEx Sandbox instead of the FedEx Sandbox? Well, we've got a, a spreadsheet here that could help you estimate that what would be the cost uh, uh, the return on investment you'd observe. So when you're building mocks internally for third-party APIs, uh, you have to create the basic mocks, the complex mocks, the mocks for error scenarios, use those mocks, but also maintain them and support them for other developers and the QAs, and the QAs would be using them. So what happens if you use the ones provided by a third party like us, for example? Well, the creation and the maintenance is done by the third party, by the vendor, and then you can just continue using your mocks. So that's where the savings come from. 
Um, so let's say in this example, and you can change these numbers if you want to just make a copy of this sheet once you're logged into your Google account and you can put in your numbers. Let's say you're in this example uh, creating five mocks. Uh, they, they take on average this much per mock. So let's say in our example, it takes around a week to create uh, one of these mocks. So 30 Mondays around to create five of them. There's also some maintenance you have to do on top of that, which equals six mandates in this example. So what we're saying is if your developer's cost is uh, 50,000, if this is how much your developers get paid per year, um, you can use that mandates uh, that we've just uh, added up to see how much it would be uh, costing you to create those mocks internally and compare it to the uh, cost you would uh, incur if you outsource it to a vendor and pay for the ready-made sandbox environment provided by us, for example. And this means that you're still quite ahead. In this example, uh, you're $7,000 um, in profit on the ROI side. And yeah, but by all means, put in your numbers and see if this will make sense for you. So on top of the API mocks that we provide, there's also other things that come into play in our sandbox environments. For example, uh, when you're doing uh, mocks internally, uh, you're typically doing the mocks and the deployment of those mocks, but you also have to do the advanced mocks, the stateful mocks, the error scenarios, the performance, which sometimes uh, get overlooked uh, along with the UI or maintenance and rarely get done things like uh, test coverage analytics, for example, but we'd be happy to do those for you um, if you're purchasing the sandbox environments from Traffic Pirate. So what are the next steps for you? Well, go ahead to this URL and you can sign up for the free three-day th free three trial of the <coughs> FedEx uh, API sandbox from us. You can look at our integration guide. So this is not just about the sandbox environment. This is how to integrate end to end with FedEx. So at the, on the analysis stage, development, testing and production stage. Uh, so production includes monitoring, analysis uh, includes, for example, the business requirements. So this contains end to end what you're going to have to do if you're looking at integrating with Th FedEx APIs and what we've seen our customers do. And then there's more information in the services sandbox environment section about FedEx uh, traffic pirate environment. So feel free to explore that as well. Yeah, so we're looking forward to hearing from you. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully hear from you soon.